on 10 hits and all eight of those runs and all 10 of those hits coming in the two innings, the fourth and the fifth is Ellsbury. A little flare to left. That's going to fall. A base hit. So Colby Ellsbury was the last Red Sox to have a hit today, and he has two in a row now. Two for five at the plate. Our innovative Aaron plays in the fourth. The Red Sox offense just seized the moment, and they really were loose. Ellsbury, little flare, shallow right, going to fall, a base hit. And it starts with a single for the Red Sox. Oh. With the victory, his first playoff start. It's off the bum of right, and into the left center, Santa La Macchia will score. Ellsbury gets into the act. RBI single, and it's 8-2 to two Boston. And now every Red Sox has a base hit in this game. That run will be charged to Matt Moore right off the glove of right. What a hot shot from Ellsbury. Double for Boston. And Ellsbury, a little flare, and that's going to fall fair. Base hit. Ross being waved home. He'll score. Ellsbury the second. And the throw is late. It's a double and an RBI. Three to one, Boston. You're going to look at the paper tomorrow, and you're going to see two hits at least, and they're going to look like bullets on the paper. But this first two hits, you couldn't place any perfect, more perfect. The third baseman, Longoria, has got it. Protect against the bunt, so he's in a little bit. You see him jam. He doesn't even know where the ball's no. going. And because he has to play in to protect against the bunt, this little flare is right all the way down to the wall. He can give him a couple of times, and you've said so often, John, not all good pitches turn into outs. That was a good pitch right in on him. Let's put the ball where they wanted to so far in the series. Ellsbury down the line, off the glove of Loney. And Ellsbury thinking about two, and he's on his way. Zobers throw is late. And a hustle double <laughs> for Jacoby Ellsbury. <laughs> Flying around the bases to get himself in the scoring position. Well, this is great hustle on his part, and you pretty much had this figured after it went off the glove of Loney that he was going to go for two. But then when... Ellsbury gets to second base. I think he lost sight of the ball and where it went and it looked like he might try Cody. to go to third. And Ellsbury. Th and when he did, Escobar's standing there with the ball in his glove like, no, no. We got the ball here. That was funny. Ellsbury <laughs> with two very talented pitchers in their own right. There's a bouncer that's going to sneak through a base hit. And the Red Sox get at it again right away as Ellsbury reaches. And Joe, let's take a look at the Rays deep. Tying run at first. Ellsbury swings. Little jam shot. Long run. That ball is going to fall. He's hit. Nobody's at third base. Now Rodney comes over. And that keeps Bogarts at second. That was a big move by Fernando Rodney. Bogarts was on his way until he saw Rodney. A little flare single by Ellsbury. And now the Red Sox have the go ahead run aboard. Fought it off. 2 0 count. He was late, but he hit it in a perfect spot. Bogarts had no way of knowing if that ball was going to drop or not. Otherwise, he'd have made third. Gloria had.
Second in the early innings. Here's a ball off the glove of Sanchez. A run scores and everybody's safe. For Jacoby Ellsbury. Here's the pitch. Swing and there's a drive. Rocketed and right base hit. Here comes Bogarts rounding third. Hunter up and gunning to the plate. He slides. He's safe. He's safe. The Red Sox lead in one. Team teaching a lot of these young pitchers the Cardinals have how to do it the right way. Here's a base hit. First of the night for the Red Sox, a shattered bat, and Jacoby Ellsbury is on, and Michael Walker ends up with the biggest piece of the bat, picking that up after he jammed the Red Sox leadoff hitter. Yeah, that's a big league uh, jam shot, but you will gladly trade a bat for a hit any day of the week. There are plenty of bats, but hits are hard to come by. Especially tonight off these two guys. Now, Yadier Molina aware of Ellsbury's speed. 52 stolen bases. The addition like Axel and stuff like that. And you got guys, and even the guy that's not on the roster right now, uh, Sam Freeman. Um, you know, you got a couple guys out there throwing, you know, 95 to 98 to 100 miles an hour. And that's, I mean, that's. That's never bad to have. They give a base hit to Jacoby Ellsbury, and that's the third in all three games. But he looked different in game two than he did in game one. And he sure did. Here's a 2 2. That's up the middle, a base hit, and the leadoff man is on for the Red Sox in the eighth. Second hit of the night for Jacoby. Now it's seemingly been a different guy every night, except for what David Ortiz has done. Here's the 0 1. Little fly ball into center. That ball is down for a hit. One run scores. Here comes the other runner, Ross. He is out to end the inning. But the Red Sox lead 3-1. to one. Els Ellsbury delivers the two-out hit to center. Jammed him, dropped it in front of Shane Robinson. What a throw by Robinson. Good play, Molina. But another run for the Red Sox as they lead it three to one. One ball, one strike on Ellsbury leading it off. And that's hard hit, a base hit through the right side. And the Red Sox put their leadoff man on for the second straight inning. And for the Red Sox, they're concerned on what their leadoff man can do once he gets on. 52 stolen bases on the season. That's seven more than the Cardinals had as a team. So Ellsbury on, and he has not tried to steal yet against Yadier Molina. are starting to figure out the rookie Michael Walker. A laser shot to right by Jacoby Ellsbury. It was hit as hard as the ball drew hit, but not as high. Short hopping the wall in right field. Ellsbury two out of three in a visit for the 